Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the hip tunnel and another meteor shower. I was thinking, oh, I'm just about ready to switch this over to hydrogen. I ran... Oh, I have more. So see that? Hold on, we gotta switch over to minerals. Yep, insulation. So you need three fuel tanks. And I need 2,500, so that's 18, 700 of hydrogen, but I ran out of reed fiber. Amazingly enough, even though I've been running my toilets into two reed fiber plants for, you know, 400 cycles, so I've now got my generators feeding a third plant as well. So hopefully that'll keep them filled up. All right, I'm probably gonna forget, but three pipe segments. Yeah, obviously when the toilets are running full stop, that was enough to really fill up two of them. Oh, my, uh, my rocket's back with more iso resin. Well, at least this opened. Oh, that reminds me, I think I found a bug for free steel. Let's see if it happens again. And please don't. Hit me with a big meteor in the middle of this. So let's slow down. Yep. Steel just appears. So your mass is 200. What's you? Your mass is 200. Yep. So this mass stayed at 200. And I just got 200 of steel out of it. <laughs> so, I'm not sure that's the best way of getting free steel, but it does give you free steel. You notice that when this rocket took off. I right, close before I get more damage. Duty six. And we've got, yeah, lots more ice resin. No, you don't get to go outside. There's a meteor shower out there. And apparently in here. And for some reason, I thought they could walk across this, but they're not able to. And I don't know if it's because it's broken. Like they can get to here, but they can't get to there. So what if I put a ladder segment right there? So I had to open this section up here so my dupes could run across. I couldn't figure out why they were getting stuck. This is a big meteor shower. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that now lets them cross. Very strange. And the same thing happened to my pilot. He got stuck over here. So let's put that ladder segment in. All right, what else is going on? Well, I extended the base. So now this whole area is inside. So dupes with suits have to come through here or come down over here. And that's been working out good. This is obviously pumping out lots and lots of power. But I do run out of battery. Like I went and added another battery over here. When everything's running, this aqua tuner, that aqua tuner, that aqua tuner, and this, that is more power than my base can produce. So, it says my potential load is 7.3, but my current load can go higher. But it catches up eventually. I'm just wondering if I can fit another battery in. Yeah, not having the rocket batteries means I don't have those big 100 kilojoule battery packs. And this is full of hydrogen for the long, or oxygen for the long trip. So I've definitely run you down. And I left a hole in my drywall, but I think I've patched them all now. So this is now finally filling up. So we're good, except for the reed fiber. 
I really <laughs> am impressed that I used up that much. Yeah, zero insulation, so I need... Is that 1,200 more? And at some point, this meteor shower will be over. And no matter how much regolith I dump in here, these voles just chomp through it. And I think I've still got way too many in here. Show me the critter sensor. 27, even though it's set to 15. How exactly is that happening? You are green. Green means everything should be going through. And you are picking up all the vol egg types. I don't know. Let's try setting it down to 10, even though apparently it's not going to make a difference. Get out of my way. Because I've got 3 million calories of food. That's more than enough, and this meteor shower is still going off. Wow. How much hydrogen am I down to? Oh, I'm back up to 194, because this thing is sucking up all my extra oxygen. Yes. How many... Yeah, there's 83 pip and cuddle pip eggs in there. <laughs> I might have gone a little bit overboard on the food. It's over. You dig that. Let's have this rocket take off and go get me more stuff. You know, priority nine, still nobody's coming to dig that. Uh, I want another rocket pilot, because I'm about to lose one. And I haven't seen one in quite some time. Yep, dig at a nine. Somebody? You only need to dig that one, and then the Robo Miner does the rest. And here comes another meteor shower, but in order to be smarter, I moved this switch. So now hopefully my Robo Miner won't get entombed when there's a big meteor shower. You know, it only took 524 cycles, or however long it's been since I got up to space. It definitely looks like I am keeping up with the water. So when the toilets are in use, it blocks this section of pipe, so this backs up until the toilet is cleaned out first. And I know that two plants were keeping up with the toilets, So yeah, we're good. This was at three. It sucked it down. Now we're coming up through the night cycle. All the dudes will come use the bathroom. It'll fill up this side. This will back up a bit. And really, I can fit 2,000 kilograms over here before it starts really causing me proper problems. So yeah, three plants eats it all. I'm just debating whether or not I want to bring this pipe over to make sure I always have... Might as well. Ooh, I've got another 100 kilograms of insulation, which is not nearly enough. If I do this... Might as well come up through there, because there's already a gap. Now, if the, this pipe ever gets empty to here, I'll fill it up from the other side. So I will always run three plants nonstop. I think I just found a place I can put another battery. So if I do that, I can then put a battery right here if I get rid of that tile. Oh, maybe I can't because this is in the way? We'll find out. Oh, 
I can't. Perfect. I really just want to fit the most batteries I can, so that will be six, one, two, three, four, six jumbos and a smart battery. Just so whenever I am producing extra power, I can store the most of it. Okay, there it goes. I'm like, no docks available. How are there no docks available? And how are you even allowed through? Vacancy only. I guess two people came in at the same time. All right, somebody deliver a suit up here. All right, how far is my rocket? 0.7 of a cycle. Let's see how much of this I can get dug up. Still no rocket pilot. Might <laughs> I might be being dumb. Oh, uh, because I'm not playing in spaced out. I'm playing in the base game, and that means that I think it's not rocket pilot I'm looking for. I believe it is exosuit wearing. Where is Rowan? No, I want to go to Rowan. Oh, can. Rowan, bio. So you're operating, researching, tidying, were you? Yeah, you were not a rocket pilot, but Gossman wasn't either. Okay, I'll just pick somebody then. And that's how much I got dug. I gotta let Marie back in. It's just been non-stop meter showers. I went quite a few cycles without any, and now it's just been non-stop. And this, hopefully this opens up for it. In half a cycle, we'll find out. Point two of a cycle is cutting it a bit close. There you are. Oh, I don't want the dig command here because otherwise somebody will come and try and dig it. Oh, that is all of my chlorine, you bastards. Plenty of water, so let's... Well, I've got a germ sensor, so if this does get germy, it will then stop it. I'm gonna have to rebuild a way of making chlorine in order to fix that. Right, let's have you get out of there. Who has unreachable food? Why do you have unreachable food? Okay, you don't. All right, another meteor shower complete just after the rocket comes through and everything breaks. So I need to fix this and I think I can just get a pump back in there and filter out the chlorine. 
because I've still got this. I just gotta come up with a way of getting the carbon dioxide from the bottom. I think I can do it. Oh, and I also need to empty these because I don't have this set to automated yet. More like, why don't I? I have plenty of steel. Oh, because I can't get there. That's a... Never mind. Not worth it. Alright, with that little blob of oil, I should still be able to get to get around this. So if I put a mini pump here and gas element sensor there, oh, I still have the filter. Okay, well that makes it easy. I forgot I still had a filter down here. Yeah, you do that. I just need some ladder segments to come up to here. And power. Yeah, I didn't get to dig any of this stuff before the next meteor shower started. What I'm worried about is it picking up that little bit of liquid. Sometimes gases get weird. Okay, seems to be leaving it alone. And hopefully it's not picking up from this side. And why are you just standing there? And hopefully I can melt these granite ladder segments and make... Igneous rock out of them, because I'm all out of igneous rock. Right, I think Bubbles is going to be the best. Quick learner should mean that they can plus 30% to skill leveling. Yep. So, Turner, you're out of here. And Bubbles, you're in for some running. And yet, yeah, you're overheating, which is to be expected. and disable auto repair. And then I had an idea. I actually got some bleach stone from one of the other bases because I, or other asteroids, because I was going to try to tune this up, but then it went dormant again. So I can just put in a thing to hold bleach stone over here and that will take care of the rest of the gas. this is not going to get that bottom layer of carbon dioxide, which we really need. Actually, I could move that pump over here. That'll work as well. I just got to move the uh, piping around. Yeah, that's going to work much better. And then I can go and reseal this up. And then I put in a switch just to turn that off. It's the longest I've gone without a meter shower in quite some time. Oh, there we go. All cleaned up. Yeah, I don't even think you saw any germs come through. Perfect! I like it when systems work. How am I doing on insulation? Ooh, 200! Ah, oh, this is gonna take forever. In order to help myself along, let's go with five plants instead of three. But oh, we got more digging to do. And Bubbles is super happy running around. So yeah, five plants. I believe it is five things of reed fiber. So each time I 
harvest these, I get 100 kilograms of insulation. I'll see you guys in a few hours my time. While I'm waiting for a bunch of reed fiber, I'm pretty sure I can run another generator to help alleviate my power problems. I'm trying to sneak one in here. So let's get rid of those. And what I probably need is that. Otherwise this will say that the pipe's blocked. And we got input. And then what I'm going to do is take I'll control this one with this smart battery because I don't have enough natural gas to run eight non-stop. But as soon as this battery starts going down, it'll turn on the eighth one. The neutronium does turn red. Yeah, so as soon as you start going down, this one turns on, and I got that little bit extra power. Well, there we go. One more piece of insulated pipes. I need two more. Alright, this... How much... I think I have enough ISO resin. Oh yeah, I got plenty of ISO resin. It's just the reed fiber I'm waiting on. All right, well, thank you all very much for watching. This has actually been quite a long time of not getting a meteor shower. I've almost got all the regolith cleaned up. But I've got to wait for a bunch more reed fiber before I can get these last two pieces done. And yeah, I can't fit another one of these in there. The beauty about bridges is they only use a hundred. But yeah, there's no way. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I'm gonna end this here and let the game run for a while. Cause like I said, getting that much reed fiber, it's gonna take some time. And I don't really have a very convenient place to toss more plants. I guess I could get rid of you and get one more, but it's just gonna take time. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.